Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Uh, so today, do this name ring a bell with you guys? Eric Barron. Okay, probably don't ring a bell with your with you with you. that name. Probably don't ring a bell. But that's uh, Eric B from Eric B and Rakim. So here recently, October the 28th, he was arrested. Um, he was stopped uh, a few weeks before that for driving with uh, his tags was not right. And from there, the, the situation escalated and he drove up on the the uh, the sidewalk and ended up crashing the car and then injuring a police. And so, with that, what happened with that was that he, uh, what what he was saying, how he ended up uh, getting arrested was because his lawyer told him to appear in court, and he didn't appear in court. So, that caused them to um, seek out to... Uh, arrest him because he didn't appear in court. He's also was fined five thousand um, dollars for and fines, and so he pulled. He just recently got out of jail a couple of days ago, and uh, so he's you know his lawyer was saying he's a great guy, and um, and how he's a good person. So, um, Eric B from, uh, Eric B and Rock Him just got out of jail. Um, so, I mean, things happen in life, guys. Um, for whatever reason, we do things sometimes that, uh, I guess for whatever reason we do them for. But I've come to realize that if... I am stopped by police or if you're if you're innocent about something uh, your actions will always say that you are innocent in most situations but like in a situation like this why would he take off on the vehicle that would be the next question why would he drive the car up on the sidewalk and crashing it and then injuring a police engine fine five thousand dollars so that makes me think he has something to hide or something was going on with his tags but um yeah eric b from eric b and rock so that's the guy to be doing the stretching and you know um so he also did some acting also um so but he's out of jail and this warrant, it, it goes way back to 2001. I'm, I, I think what I read, what they was talking about the warrant, the uh, the it goes back to 2001. So it's like, let's see, 2001, we in 2019. So it's like a 18, a 17 or 18 year old warrant that you know just now was uh, catching up with them. So. Uh, when you're dealing with the court system, things don't just go away. And the IRS or the government, things just don't go away. We can annul, we can um, ignore them, but that don't change the facts that it still remains. So that's what I have, guys, today. Eric B. out of jail. Um, hit the uh, subscribe button, guys, down below. Also, you can... Uh, Hit that notification bell that will probably be to your right. Um, you can give me a like or a dislike. But then you can also leave me a comment down below. I will answer all comments that are left. Peace, guys.